Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Welcome to Tech Primers. In this particular video, we are going to see the differences between OAuth 2 and JWT. Some of you guys have requested me to make a video on this particular difference. So here we go. So OAuth 2 is what we are going to see first. So imagine this is the uh, whole workflow of OAuth 2. So imagine OAuth 2 is a framework. So OAuth 2 is nothing but a framework where you need to do some authorization and authentication. Let's see how does OAuth 2 does that right? as a framework. So imagine your resource server is your um, third party application or the client where you are log going to log in. So the client is what we are an authorization server is something like um, uh, let's say a Facebook login or a Google login. So most of the sites when you log in right for example, if you log into TripAdvisor or Glassdoor.com, it asks you to log in via the Google account or the Facebook account, right? So imagine that the Glassdoor website or the TripAdvisor website as the resource server, we as the client, and authorization as the Facebook or the Google API, right? So initially, what we do is we just open the um, Glassdoor website. That is what A is. Uh, we send a client request to say that okay, authorize me. So by that time, resource server asks you, how should I authorize you? How should I grant you permission based on which API? Then you say that, okay, I will be using Google. So that is C. So C is going to get redirected to Google. So when you click on the Google icon, it genuinely goes to Google website. And then once you log into the Google website, you will be prompted an option saying do you want to allow this particular application basically the Glassdoor or the TripAdvisor to allow uh, it to use your information right so and you say that um, granted so you say allow right so what happens is um, Facebook or Google they send an access token to the resource server so they send an access token to Glassdoor or the TripAdvisor website saying that this particular user can be authorized with this particular access token right and that will be now received in the resource server okay once it is received in the resource server now receive uh, um, the authorization needs to be done right so resource server will now request saying okay give me all the uh, user identity details and then the authorization server sends it um, the resource server and the authorization server will have its communication already because they will create a third party api the secret and the public key so that um, Facebook knows that okay Glassdoor is a client for Facebook and then they know that okay I need to give you the correct information so that that is an additional step which happens and finally once all these authenticity is like verified the Glassdoor website allows you to log in with the username and the email address which you had used to log into the Google account so this is how the whole OAuth 2 works so you can see that OAuth 2 is a framework so it has this kind of specific setup where you request uh, the request to the request goes to the authorization server from there it comes back and then it goes to the resource server and stuff like that so this is like a complete package so it is a complete framework so that is OAuth 2 so now let's see what is JWT right so JWT is nothing but JSON web tokens so basically tokens are just the part of OAuth 2 right you saw what we did here uh, there is a token which is generated by the authorization server to be sent to the resource server so that it can use that for any subsequent calls or something. So that is the token, right? So same way JWT is just a token. It's basically a protocol with which you can use authorization and authentication. So basically you can see what is the use case here. So we just uh, do a login. Uh, we give a username and password to the server. The server validates that, okay, this username and password is correct. And then it creates a token which is called the JWT. So which is using the JWT protocol to create a token. So JWT is just a protocol uh, with which a token is created. Uh, it's nothing but an encryption mechanism or something like that uh, to create a token. And the token is given back to the user or the client. From the client, it is going to use the same token again and again for the next subsequent request. So that is it. So this JWT is just a part of the authentication mechanism. If you see in OAuth, we had a whole flow how an authorization or authentication happens but in case of JWT it's just a token which 
the server sends to you so you if you have a application which is just going to be very simple and then you just communicate with the server straight in a straightforward way then you can use jwt uh, to just uh, have a simple mechanism if you are ha uh, having a third party application and you want to authorize somebody based on some google or facebook account which they already have and you don't want them to create it in your website or something then you can go ahead with oauth2 where you can just delegate the authorization to the third party and then basically the authorization server basically the google or the facebooks um, and then you can based on the grants you can use the token generated by google or facebook and then you can use that for uh, authenticating your clients so that is the basic difference between oauth2 and um, jwt hope you guys have a good understanding now what is oauth2 and what is jwt basically oauth2 is a framework and jwt is a protocol okay that's it for this particular video uh, if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it uh, meet you again in the next video thank you very much